Good morning family it is Monday October 26th done with class for the day it's about 9 30 right now um, heading back shipping out packages today uh, from Friday's launch I didn't get any footage from Friday and then I didn't record throughout the weekend first um, I didn't really feel like recording this weekend and then I didn't record on Friday because it was just so busy um, me sitting at the computer a lot of the day so rather than just putting out boring footage for you guys I figured I would do something a little bit different do like a what's in my gym bag video uh, put that out this morning um, so I did film that this weekend by the way I got these yesterday they're called like Tazumi headphones uh, they connect via Bluetooth to my phone but they were a pain in the butt to connect but again I guess you get what you pay for they were like $17.99 at Staples um, do I recommend them probably not just because they're such a pain in the butt to connect but um, yeah almost back now I'll see you guys in the next clip all right guys, so packing up orders right now for uh, when I go take them to the post office to ship this afternoon. By the way, writing all of the shipping and mailing addresses on there because I'm not fancy enough yet to have something to print off the label, so just sharpening everything on there. But I'm about to watch episode three of season six of The Walking Dead. I missed it last night, so I'm going to watch episode three now. I think it's called Thank You. Um, so I'm going to watch that and then I'll let you guys know what I think um, in the next clip. Wow, that episode. I can't even talk about it without spoiling it. It was... Oh, so many feels after watching that one. Man, season six is so good. Oh my word. This season makes up for all the crappy seasons of The Walking Dead, by far. Oh my gosh. Duh. Man. Ah. If you guys have seen episode 3 of season 6, you know what happens, and you know why I can't even, like... I'm still processing this. Like, what just happened? Ah. Well, I guess I'm going to go eat lunch now. Alright guys, so bringing you a commentary a little bit differently today, you're going to be seeing my face in the corner of the screen giving a commentary rather than just the typical voiceover. And today what we're doing is bench press. Back on the bench press, as you guys have seen, I've started incorporating it back into my workouts. I took about two months off, roughly eight to nine weeks off from the bench press just to give my body a break because I was hitting it two, sometimes three times a week, which was my typical schedule along with squats. I was hitting heavy squats and heavy bench presses a lot. Uh, throughout the summer and throughout first semester uh, before the summer. So I uh, gave my body a little bit of a break, but getting back into it now. And honestly, I really think that incorporating the bench press into my workouts is huge. Um, if you look at any different chest exercise, whether it be uh, incline dumbbell presses, whether it's um, a machine press, everything is a variation of the bench press. So why would you throw the bench press out? Incorporating it into your chest workouts is very important so I definitely recommend keeping the bench press into your workouts I know that's gonna stay um, in my push workouts from here on out um, but yeah that's gonna wrap up the commentary now by the way the weight was 225 pounds today for four sets of four um, but this is going to wrap up this commentary hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video and I'll talk to you guys All next right, time guys, so just finished up that chest workout batteries almost dead so going to leave my camera here in my car as I walk across the street Go to the movie theater, going to see The Last Witch Hunter with Vin Diesel. <laughs> I've heard it's not so good, but I'm a big Vin Diesel fan. And honestly, as long as the movie is fun, I'll be content. So, gonna go see what that movie is all about. And then as soon as I'm done, I'll let you guys know what I think. 
Alright guys, so just got home. My battery died when I was giving my initial reaction to this movie. Um, I came home, plugged it in really quick. That way I could just give you a short little snippet. My quick thoughts on this movie, and honestly this is not going to be a very long review because this movie had very little substance to even review in the first place. Uh, the performances were all very B-rate. The story was very convoluted, very messy. Um, this is a movie that you definitely wait to come out on Netflix to see. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend going to the theater to see this movie. This is not something you need to see on the big screen. This is definitely something that you can see on Netflix, stream it, save yourself some money, and honestly, it's just a very forgettable movie. I guarantee um, next week, the week after, when I kind of think back about some of the recent movies that I've seen, this is definitely going to be a very forgettable one. I saw Goosebumps last Friday. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I definitely enjoyed it more than this movie. At least Goosebumps was fun to watch, even though it wasn't a very good movie in my opinion. It was at least kind of enjoyable to watch. This movie, on the other hand, it was kind of hard to get through. That's just my opinion, um, but I definitely would not recommend going to see this movie in theaters. But that's just my quick reaction, quick thoughts on this movie. Um, my camera is about to die, so I'm going to shut it off real quick, charge it up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Alright family, Tuesday afternoon, just got done with my second class of the day, still have one more from 4.30 to 7.30, having myself some lunch right now, SpaghettiOs, while watching live movie talk on YouTube, and honestly, with SpaghettiOs, these get overlooked. I know I've talked about them before on um, kind of like days of eating, different things like that, but for 98 cents, you get some awesome macros there, so I don't know if you guys could see those, but if you you couldn't you get 12 grams of fat you get 62 carbs and you get 20 grams of protein in this 98 cent can of spaghettio so if you guys are a college student you're trying to stretch your dollar as far as you can that's just really that's easy macros right there very simple very easy very convenient all you got to do you don't even have to pop those in the microwave if you don't want them warm all you have to do is just peel that little top off which has one of those easy peel tabs on it and you're good to go but um, also having myself a monster I've been trying my best to kind of move my monsters down towards the beginning of the day that way um, before I go to bed I'm not having um, like that carbonated monster sit in my stomach I'm rather having like water run through my system um, but I'm still having probably one monster every other day one monster a day sometimes uh, just for energy um, sure you can get it from different food sources, but being a college student, don't have a ton of money and I'm eating at the dining courts a lot, not a whole lot of nutrition coming there, so just trying to hit my macros as well as I can while getting energy from another source. But about to eat this now, watch Movie Talk, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, here at Walmart, picking up a Blu-ray, going to get the Southpaw DVD Blu-ray. I actually haven't seen that movie yet. You can see it is $24.88, but um, found it on my phone. I told you guys I price check everything. Um, so I found it here on my phone for, see if it focuses, $17.94. So um, price checked it here on my phone. Um, so I'm going to save about seven bucks. So if you guys want to ever buy Blu-rays, anything like that in a store, make sure you price check it first because you're going to save yourself some money. But going to pick that up, probably see if they got any new Star Wars posters and uh, show you, get, or I'll probably give this one away. So I'll probably give 
uh, this digital copy code away. So stay tuned for the next clip. All right, guys, so home from Walmart now. Going to end the video by giving away the digital copy code to Southpaw uh, that I promised you guys in the last clip and in my Snapchat video last night. And if you guys aren't following me on Snapchat yet, make sure to go follow me on Snapchat. It's just at Treg Fisher. Luckily, I have a pretty unique name. So if you find, if you look up Treg Fisher basically on any of the social media outlets, you're gonna be able to find me there, whether it's Periscope, Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, Treg Fisher is the name. So make sure to go follow me. Um, but yeah, a lot of times I'll actually give stuff away on my Snapchat. Um, I know this summer I gave away a lot of movies or a lot of digital copy codes just on my Snapchat. So again, make sure you guys are following me there. You kind of get a behind the scenes look uh, to these YouTube videos. And a lot of times I am pretty active on there. So uh, going to give you guys this code right here real quick. Hopefully it focuses. And uh, here it is. So let's see here if I can focus it. Uh, all right, I think that's focused. All right, so there's the digital copy code. Whoever gets it, let me know down below. Um, I appreciate everybody that watches these videos. Thanks again for watching it. This is going to wrap this one up. Make sure to give it a thumbs up so more people see it. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. www.tregfisher.com for online personal training and apparel. You can get your Treg Fisher Fitness shirts over there for only 20 bucks. So, uh, thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.